Here's what it would take for this bitter bird to come back to the WWE. Here's what I got. Here's the proposal. Here's what it is. All right, Roman Reigns, get your ass to Hollywood, okay? Hand in those titles. Pretend like you lost your smile. Say you, you just don't have it anymore, and you go off to Hollywood. We have two vacant titles. We defend it in a tournament at SummerSlam, and we have Dolph Ziggler versus Finn Balor in the final. Obviously, we know that's never going to happen, so I ain't coming back to WWE. Here's what's on the agenda today. All right, part two, Vince McMahon. I hate the WWE. I don't watch it anymore. I haven't watched it since last year's SummerSlam. We're going to talk about Jinder Mahal today. Jinder Mahal and Austin Theory. I don't watch WWE. I don't know how people are reacting to Austin Theory and his money in the bank. But here's what I can tell you. Vince McMahon doesn't know how to push anybody. All right? Even when he thinks he's going to push a new star, he doesn't even know who to push. Jinder Mahal, the modern day Maharaja. The modern day joke. The worst WWF, WWE, world heavyweight champion, whatever fucking champion he was. He is the worst champion of all time. I got some notes here for you, okay? Got some notes. On April 18th of whenever the hell it was, 2015-ish or so, Jinder Mahal won a six-pack challenge, okay? So he goes from April 18th, randomly winning a six-pack challenge, to May 21st, just over a month later, winning the WWE Championship. And this is what Vince McMahon has been doing. He wants to push these guys fast. It's not like it was in the past, so I don't know if he's getting older and, and he just doesn't have the patience to wait anymore. Remember back in the day, you, you guys, you old WWE heads, WWF heads, remember how long it would take for somebody to win the title? Shawn Michaels, Bret Hart, you need that gradual two to three year kind of push and then you get to the top and then when you win at WrestleMania, it feels huge. It's, it's a monumental achievement. Now we get guys that are pushed out of the blue, like Jinder Mahal. Okay, here's this six-pack challenge to get him the number one contendership for this World Heavyweight Championship match. WWF title match, WWE title match, whatever title it was. I know they got two titles. Who gives a shit? Here's what we got, all right? We got Mojo Rawley in this match. Mojo Rawley was in this match. Dolph Ziggler was in this match. Luke Harper, rest in peace, was in this match. Eric Rowan. Is he still carrying that spider thingy around? Sami Zayn. He earns a number one contendership for the WWE title. And he goes on to randomly beat Randy Orton. It's funny how Vince McMahon always uses Randy Orton to try and get one of his like guys over, one of his experiments over. It was Drew McIntyre, remember? Drew McIntyre was his other experiment. They flip-flopped the title a couple times. Vince McMahon fucked that push up, and now Drew McIntyre is irrelevant. Jinder Mahal was in 3MB. He was a joke. He was a jobber. And then he became champion. This isn't JBL, guys. This wasn't JBL. All right, he's a roided up motherfucker, stiff as fuck, modern day Maharaja. He had the Singh brothers who would always help him out for a win, never won clean, beat Randy Orton at Backlash, Money in the Bank, and Battleground in a Punjabi prison match where the Great Khali came back because we fucking care about the Great Khali. Then he faced Shinsuke Nakamura twice. He tried to push gender for the Indian population and nobody gave a shit. So on a random SmackDown episode, AJ Styles won the title from him. November 7th. So from April to November, this experiment died. A seventh month, seven month experiment that didn't work. And this is what we continually see from the WWE year in and year out. Now it's Austin Theory. 
And this Jinder Mahal shit reminds me a lot of this Austin Theory thing. Austin Theory lost to Pat McAfee at WrestleMania. The same WrestleMania that Sami Zayn lost to Johnny Knoxville. Ew. I didn't watch it though, thank God. If it were up to me, I'd, I'd book Sami Zayn and Johnny Knoxville in a three out of five falls match. I'd have Sami Zayn win three of those falls in less than five minutes. That's how I would book the product. Because it is not believable that a, that a silver-haired fox like Johnny Knoxville is going to come into WWE and beat Sami Zayn. It doesn't make any sense. Pat McAfee. Oh, whoop he fucking do He can hop to the top rope and like, and like, you know, do some shit, right? Who cares? It's Pat McAfee. This, this is going to be just like Shane McMahon all over again. They got him facing Happy Corbin at SummerSlam. That, that's the rumored card. That's the rumored match. Nobody gives a shit about Pat McAfee. Love him on commentary. Don't want to see him as a performer. I mean, I don't watch it anyway. You know what I mean? I, I got away from that shit. So Austin Theory feels like the same thing. Just like Jinder Mahal. Pushing him out of the blue. This is the same guy that raped the bitch. Didn't he rape a bitch? He raped the bitch. Raped the bitch, came back. He's in NXT getting jobbed the fuck out. He comes up to the roster. He loses at WrestleMania to Pat McAfee. He takes a Scott Hall-like stunner from Austin. And now he wins money in the bank. He becomes, he becomes United States champion, only holds the title for about a month. I swear to God... If this guy becomes champion, you will hear from me. Not that I'm going to watch the match. But if they go, if they, if, if this is the guy, if Austin Theory is the guy that takes the title away from Roman Reigns, after Roman Reigns had the title for what, like a year and a half, two years, this is the guy with the money in the bank cash in nonetheless? <whistles> what a wasted two-year run. Austin Theory, all right? So another problem that WWE has, they, they have all these random tag teams, right? And they like to put the nationalities or the races together. Well, this is the one they actually fucked up. So we had a pair of Mexicans, and we're just going to throw in a white boy in between, and we're going to make them a tag team, and we're going to pretend like people give a shit about Austin Theory. This is why people don't care about Austin Theory, because he was with Andrade, and he was with Angel Garza. Andrade's not in the company anymore. Angel Garza is what? In the 24-7 title chase, they still got that thing. They still got that title? They, they, really? Ew. Oh, who gives a shit about that? I heard there's another wedding on Raw, by the way. This company is a joke. So Vince McMahon doesn't have the patience to wait for stars anymore. Austin Theory is getting a random push out of the blue. It's the Jinder Mahal push. It's a lot of this stuff in WWE recently, and it's why I can't take it seriously. So I hope, I pray that maybe, just maybe, Roman Reigns will leave the company and... We have a tournament at SummerSlam. We get Finn Balor and Dolph Ziggler in the final. Yeah, another guy they don't know what to do with. Both of them. Finn Balor and Dolph Ziggler. Stop and start pushes. So Jinder Mahal was a complete failure. Austin Theory is going to be a complete failure. These guys have no stars. And even when they try to make a star, they don't know who to pick. From 3MB to world champion. Three MB to world champion. This ain't JBL and the APA and, and and Farouk and he kicking some ass. No, this is Jinder Mahal. He played like an air guitar and shit. And nobody cared. And this isn't like the Drew McIntyre thing because Drew McIntyre went to Impact. He went and made himself a star. He came back. He, he was in NXT. He became the NXT champion. He goes and wins the Rumble, WrestleMania, yada, yada, yada. That title reign was a lot more believable. But this, this one... I mean, nobody gave a shit. And nobody's going to give a shit about Austin Theory. 
oh, cool, they're roided up on the juice. And he raped the bitch. Yeah, way to go, Vince. McMahon. Or Vince. Whatever you want to call yourself. Vince McMahon. You stupid fuck. So that's my vent for today. I went and talked about Jinder Mahal and Austin Theory. Nobody's going to give a shit about Austin Theory, guys. I already know. I don't watch the product anymore. Haven't watched since last year's SummerSlam. Still ain't going to watch. I need... <laughs> give me Balor and Ziggler, baby. Let's go. Part three is tomorrow.